So uh, I have not been uploading in quite a while. Uh, mainly I've been busy working on my new channel, which is centered around my record label, Coliosis Records. All of the discography will be up there soon enough in the form of YouTube videos. And uh, <clears throat> I will officially share the link once all the videos are up there. All right, at least the whole complete discography as of now. I mean, there's more to come. There is more music to be released in due time. But for now, I'm going to talk about something that's been on my mind for the past, at least over the past month. And <clears throat> I really didn't know if it was necessary to do this or not. I mean, I know other people on YouTube have told stories about things that some other people did or said or that was just so controversial or just really wasn't necessary or just horrible. And uh, I know plenty of frauds have been exposed. I know, you know, other people, especially in the Christian view, you know, people like Benny Hinn and Kenneth Copeland, you know, people who would do it all, especially for money. They've been talked about on multiple forms of media. And if I and I thought if I were to do the same with some other person that I've been associated with for seven months, I mean, I was advised by some people to lay low and try not to stir up any drama. I mean, I'm trying not to stir up any drama. The drama had already happened. The damage was already done when that certain someone did what he did. All right, but other people have told me, you know, you can you can do it publicly. You can mention it publicly because you're not the only person that he's messed with, right? You're not the only victim. And he's done a lot of bad things in the past, and we do not want them to be repeated on other people. You know, people need to be warned about this. So right now, I'm just kind of juggling back and forth as to what I should do. And I haven't really, uh, I haven't really asked God, as much as I hate to admit it, I haven't really asked God as to what I should really do. Like, God, should I really do this? I mean, this person just really misused your word, has really misused scripture, taken them out of context, and used them as a hammer upon me and upon many other people whom he had treated almost the same, whom he had taken advantage of just for what he wanted. I mean, is this really necessary for me to do? And as the title of this video suggests, you know, I'm talking about the man who started the Christian Death Metal Act Demonic Extinction. You will notice that the rough demo, Belial Impaled, is no longer on my Bandcamp, and what I'm basically talking about, it's the very reason that's no longer up there. It's that I do not want to associate myself with that person anymore. Now, I've already pre-recorded some, uh, some videos of myself talking about it, but I've made them either unlisted or private so that I can share them only with my friends or other people who were associated with this man. And, uh... <clears throat> they were able to understand completely how I felt and what is wrong with this person. So... I mean, even after I pre-recorded those videos and shared them with friends, other things from this man had happened, especially to me, and I've recorded one instance of that as well, which is also not public, but, I mean, any time, I still have the video in, in my uh, YouTube videos list, it, though it's unlisted, I, I can make it public any time and show it to people so that they can finally hear and know for themselves what exactly we're talking about. It's not just me, though. 
I mean, I was the latest victim, but I'm not the only victim, like I said. There's also, I mean, one of the links in the description below leads to the Facebook of a new Christian death metal act called Extinction of Bail, and uh, they can tell you, you know, they can tell you the bad experiences. That's That was the first time I saw someone talk about this man, and I didn't believe them at first because the man told me that it was all a lie, but his point of view, it wasn't just his point of view that was twisted, though. It was his demeanor, very manipulative, narcissistic, holier-than-thou, legalistic. Like, it's just so messed up. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to have to talk about this and make it public. But then again, he is planning something. I mean, I don't know if Facebook would allow it, though, because he plans to leak personal information. I mean, he told me so himself. And I can talk about the whole thing, but I just need to know if it is necessary to do so or not. So, in the description, you will find the links to a few posts. The first one will start with Demonic Extinction, because... Uh, the post that Extinction of Bail put out that same day was after, because it will refer to that post. The Democ Extinction Facebook post will give all the false information about what happened, whereas afterwards will be the links to posts put up by Extinction of Bail, and they will tell you the truth about this man, and I can relate to what they say. I can really relate. That's why, like, again, I don't really want to do this. At the same time, I'm tempted because he plans to do something. Something has to be done. It, it might have to be done, so. As a matter of fact, I'm, prob I'm probably going to disable the likes and dislikes on this video, all right? So, you know, read the posts. They're in the description. Read them so you can... Figure it out for yourself, and if my time ends up coming around, if, if I have to do this, then I might have to. I don't want to, but, like, is it really necessary? That's what I want to know, so, anyway, I'm sorry I'm making this longer than I than it needs to be, but... I need advice. I mean, I've talked to a lot of people about this. I've talked to a lot of people about the situation. People that even he was associated with. So. That's all for now. Alright, I'll, I'll get back to you later.